Okay, so here it is. I just had my new kayak shipped to me. This is the one that I went with. It's the Vibe Yellowfin 130T. Um, I had close to a thousand dollar budget and I wanted to get a kayak big enough for two people so she can come with me. But I also wanted a kayak that I can um, also take out solo, which this one can do. It's actually, this is one of the best for that right now. Um, so this is the 2019 version. It has a lot of new features on it, or upgraded features, not really new features. And I'll start at the front and I'll go back and I'll show you. First of all, this color is a brand new color from 2019. It's called Caribbean Blue. This boat is 13 feet long and is 35 inches wide. So right away, the plastic, you know, it's, it seems pretty good quality. It's not the strongest plastic, but it's pretty good quality. The inside is like a rough textured everywhere where you stand is real rough and textured and the outside is very smooth. So that's kind of a nice little detail most people won't realize. This is the new 2019 Vibe handles that are upgraded from the 2018 model. It has like a rubber grip underneath and they're very thick and strong. This is the drain plug. Got a little bungee system up in the front so, you, so the front person can put something there if they want to. Coming back, you know, obviously adjustable. Little tray. I'm gonna put a rod holder right here, a Scotty mount cup holder. Uh, for the 2019 model, comes with nice rails comes at four of them rail systems tracks and these are our aluminum they're not plastic which is a nice feature um for 2019 this is a new hatch system or a new uh storage area this is a new twist instead of the little lever that you just open up this is the twist it's like a quarter turn has the vibe logo on it it's tethered and it's also look how many screws are here this is beefed up uh, sealed better and a new bag on the inside it's actually a very strong waterproof material I think so yes the new upgraded hatches for 2019 um, the 2018 version did not have any tracks by the way so so far the upgrades are the handle the tracks and the upgraded hatch uh, these are the seats. I don't know if they're made out of like an aluminum or stainless steel, but they're light and it almost feels like an aluminum. They're probably powder coated. I don't know. This seat is very durable. It feels very durable. It's a uh, nice thick material and they're actually very comfortable. I sat in them already. So for the 2019, they actually upgraded these hinges right here to where it can lay like all the way flat. Apparently the, the 2018s couldn't do that, so 2019 they upgraded that. But yeah, these seats are very comfortable. I already sat in them a few times and I like the way they feel. Uh, for the 2019 version, they also, I think, right here, these little tabs are upgrades. Because people were complaining about the 2018 chairs sliding back and forth, like when you're paddling and uh, in, in like rough rougher conditions so i think they added these tabs and these chairs sitting here very strong and it's not even bungee down it has three bungee tie downs for the seat also for the 2019 version they added this tab right here so that when you put a, a like a plano box in there you have four plano storage areas and if you put your plano box in this is a small one you can fit a much larger one in there you can tell that the tab blocks it from, from it really coming out and just put it right in there and it's secure that's not going to go anywhere uh, you also have room underneath the seat to store stuff if you want to the deck has 12 scupper plugs with these little rubber scupper or scupper holes with these little rubber scupper plugs and they're nice and snug i'm going to try not to lose those um so here are the 2019 handles again. You have the, this is a paddle holder, nice little bungee system that 
holds the paddles. These are the paddles that come with this kayak. They're called the Journey, the Vibe Journey paddles. They are just like aluminum and they're cheaper paddles, but they'll work. And I don't think I'll have a problem with them. These are the ones I'm gonna use for now. I don't plan on buying another one until I, um, for a while. So I'm just gonna use it, it comes with two of them. So I'm just gonna use those for now. They're actually, they're 230 centimeters length and 38 ounces, in case you were wondering. But yeah, those are pretty cheap paddles. So this is where the solo seat goes, if you wanted to go solo. I'll show you that towards the end. Uh, you have another hat, another sealed quarter turn hatch right here. You have adjustable pegs back here for the rear, and the tracks. This is for if you, it is pre-plumbed for a rudder or a Bixby engine. So this is like a, for that, for the rudder system. Um, comes with two fishing rod holders and have nice little caps on them, rubber caps, feel nice and durable and exact same for the back seat. Has a nice bungee system back here and you can store stuff. You can see it's pre-plumbed for rudders or uh, like a Bixby engine trolling motor engine comes with a little aluminum piece there which is really nice so you don't have to cut any holes in here if you did want to ever install that type of stuff so the the weight capacity on here is supposedly 500 pounds which should be enough for two people if you wanted to convert it into a solo boat all you have to do is lift that up put it in the solo position That's the low position right there. And then there's actually a high position. So the middle actually has a low and a high position. This is the high position right here. And then you got three bungees to hold the middle seat down too. Or a question that a lot, I've seen a lot of people ask, but there's not really many answers for it. You can take this seat and uh, put it in the front position and face it towards the rear, like that. So I, I've seen quite a few people ask that question like, like they couldn't get an answer for it. So you could do that just like the lure two, whatever, the lure tandem, the, the relatively new one. So that's nice if you're like just cruising through little mangrove areas or like a little creek or maybe a sandbar and the, fir the front person isn't paddling, you're just kind of hanging out you can adjust these to where this seat is like lean back. It can even be completely laid out if they want to. But yeah, so you guys can just kind of talk and socialize. You can put a cooler in the middle and then the back person can just be paddling and you can just be hanging out. Also, when I ordered this kayak, I wanted a few little extras. Like... I ordered these straps with it, these nice vibe straps. They're only like 10 bucks, I got two of them. These are also small straps for the tie down points that I got when I put in the rail system so I can tie down either a cooler or some type of crate or something. Uh, I got their fish hooks that they had on their site. I didn't have a pair so I figured I'd just get it since I got a kayak. It also came with an extra piece of plastic in case you had to do any type of like plastic welding or repair any spots on the hole which is kind of cool and you can see like the type of plastic that it's made from and stuff pretty sure this is the same plastic that is used throughout the boat or this is the same plastic that was used on the deck maybe i don't know so yeah and this is the the extra paddle i got it comes with two paddles by the way the price includes these two journey paddles and now i'm going to flip it over really quick and just show you the bottom the holes you can see what it looks like um, another quick thing I wanted to show you while I was taking out these seats to flip it over 
is these, these seats are very nice and you can literally just put them down on the floor and use it as a beach chair if you pull up to a, a beach or a little island or a sandbar or whatever. You can put it down somewhere and use it as, use it as a nice little beach chair. So here it is upside down. You can see the hole. You can see the 12 scupper holes. And something kind of cool here that most people probably won't realize is it has an indent. This is the front. It has an indent so that there's a letter, less water resistance when you're paddling forward on all of the scupper plugs, which is pretty cool. I don't know if it's on the 2018 model, but it's on the 2019 model and I like it. It's gonna. So, and, and also has two channels, right? One right here and a channel right here. And it has like these big pontoon things on the on the sides, which is nice. And then it has a nice big V on the front to cut through some wake. And it actually has a pretty decent, that V almost follows through the whole boat. You can see it. And a nice big round area on the back. And then most of it's like just kind of flat, the general deck. It's just flat. And then um, I think it should be pretty stable. 35 inches wide. And yeah, so this is the new kayak. I'm really excited. My next video will be me taking it out to the water, uh, probably, probably with somebody else. And then just to find out the initial stability and the tracking of it, see how it feels paddling, see how comfortable we are on it. And then sooner or later, we're gonna bring it to the beach and take it off the breakers and see how it does uh, going beyond the breakers and how it does in the breakers. So yeah, this is my new kayak. I'm really excited to use it.